All right, I'm curious about this quest right here, this world quest, Dane's Leaf. I guess we're meeting Dane's Leaf, or knowing more about him, I guess. Talk to Catherine and Mondstadt. Adventurer's Guild seems to have something to tell you. Time to talk to Catherine, I guess. Traveler, please, over here. It has been a while since you joined the Adventurer's Guild. Are your adventures going smoothly? Um... Well, more companions would be nice. Hmm, is that so? Apart from your own skills, reliable teammates are also indispensable when adventuring. Another person to count on is always good after all. But recruiting such dependable companions is no easy matter, is it? Yep, and it's even harder to get a guide as good as Paimon. Ah, yes. I do have some information that may be of help to you. Let me consult our records. Ah, there it is. There's been a certain blonde stranger who arrived in Mondstadt lately, dressed in most unusual clothes. Oh my gosh, is that actually? Blonde. Dress is all funny. It feels like Paimon's heard this one before. It's not who you're thinking of, Paimon. Wait, do you mean... Could it be? Does that stranger's face look anything like his? <laughs> Hmm? Like the honorary knights? No, they couldn't look more different. This stranger is a very tall man, and even has an eye patch. So just some distant relative of Kaya's then. Seriously? How does this have anything to do with Kaya? I can't just can't prove that you're related anyway. That stranger declined the guild's invitation, so I can't say that I know anything about the relationship between him and Mr. Kaya. Nonetheless, you can look for him if you're interested. Perhaps he might accept your commission instead. After all, it is not uncommon for some adventurers to not want to be limited by the guild, but be happy to accept a fellow adventurer's requests. And should the stranger be a strong adventurer indeed, he would certainly be a big help on your journey. Sounds like a tough customer. Please don't talk down on yourself like that. You are the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius, after all. Your deeds are the stuff of song for all the bards in the city, even now. Well, alright then. About that stranger. Well, as to further news about him, you may want to ask Mr. Lawrence. Who? He stands guard at the city gate, so he may know something about that stranger. I wish you every success, adventurer. Thank you. We should definitely go out for some coffee or something sometime. Okay, Lawrence, tell me about Dane's Leaf. Ah, uh, honorary knight. Is something the matter? So, I'm looking for a stranger with an eye patch. A stranger with an eye patch? Hmm, let me think. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing someone like that. A blonde stranger dressed in unusual garb. He was wandering all over Mondstadt at first, which I found rather suspicious. So I decided to keep an eye on him for a while. Uh, I lost him pretty quickly. Still, I didn't think that this was such a huge matter that we needed our outrider to pursue him by air. As long as Master Jean is here, there's nothing to fear from some suspicious, unusual looking person. That might be true, but if it were up to Jean, she'd take this way more seriously. <laughs> that is true. But on the other hand, knowing that Master Jean may overreact to the situation is all the more reason to not tell her, no? <sighs> Anyways, oh yeah, he was at Wagner Smithy for a while before I tried telling him. He might have said something to Wagner. You should go ask him. Maybe he has more news about our stranger. <sighs> Alright. I think you guys are taking this way too lightly. Just my personal opinion. What? You need something? In a matter of fact, I do. So I'm looking for a stranger with an eye patch. Here. I remember him. He showed up a few days ago asking to buy a bunch of forging materials. Can't say I've heard of any of the materials he mentioned, though. He then had a look at the weapons in my shop before leaving. I've heard that he can be found drinking at the Angel's share. If the Knights of the Guild want to get hold of him, that's the only place to be. <laughs> the 
She'll share? Well, Master Diluc probably has his eye on that stranger too, then. Anyway, let's go to the angel share and have a look. All right, to the angel share we go. We gotta get some grape juice while we're there. Although I'm personally in the mood for some orange juice. Huh, I don't see him. Hey, Charles. What will it be? Grape juice or apple cider? Oh, you know what? Apple cider sounds way better than OJ. Another day, another lack of alcoholic options. Hey, Charles! Have you seen a blonde stranger who wears an eye patch around here by any chance? That I have. He comes here every night. Just a drink, though. Doesn't order anything else. He even sometimes mixes his own drinks after he orders them. I don't know anything else about him, but from his selections and mixes, I'd say that he's quite the connoisseur. And what's Master D. Luke's opinion? Why, I just gave it to you. Quite the connoisseur. Investigating everything as always. Guess that's D. Luke for you. If you're looking for that gentleman, he ordered some new bottle of wine in advance yesterday. So he should be here today, too. There's too many raucous patrons on the first floor, so if you want to wait, best to go to the second. To the second floor it is. Let's go. Dashing up the stairs. Where do we wait? On the seat by the railing. Right here. Ah, welcome, sir. The wine that you previously ordered is here. He's really here? Let's go downstairs and have a look. I better jump down this railing. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's sitting down. I, I'm an adventurer with the Adventurer's Guild. How do you do? I'm an honorary knight of Favonius. Wow, he's got no intention of paying us any mind, huh? So, uh, I'm a traveler. A traveler, you say? Hmm. Why are you traveling? I'm looking for my lost relative. <sighs> well, that's as good a reason as any. Sit down over there, then. So... Guess we've broken the ice. What a weird guy. Very weird indeed. Not as weird as me, but still weird. Hmm. That little one beside you. Yeah, emergency food. That's not true, and you know it. It's indeed a good thing to have someone accompany you on your travels. My name's Dainsliff. I suppose you have some business with me? Well, I was hoping to invite you to adventure with us. Sure. <gasps> really? He was so cold just a moment before. Hyman's got a bad feeling about this. But I will require advance payment. Uh, payment you say? 500 mora and three answered questions. Oh, that's not so bad. The 500 is a one-time fee, and we'll settle the questions in a moment. That's it? That's it. Well, now Paimon's got a really bad feeling. That kind of compensation can't be right. Well, here's the 500 more. Ah, thank you. Now, as for my questions, I'd like you to answer them here and now. Do I need to answer them all correctly? The answer to a question says nothing about right and wrong, only about differences in attitude. All right. I only wish to know what your choices are. You need only answer. Question one. The crisis Mondstadt faced was resolved by an alliance between yourself and that Animo Archon who calls himself Venti. Who, in your view, was the key to ending that crisis? How did you know that Venti is... I know everything that I should. <laughs> well, answer the question. 
Um, I'd say it was me. Is that your answer? Hmm, I see. Question number two. Rex Lapis, who has defended Liyue Harbor for millennia on end, used his gnosis to lay down a contract to end all contracts, of which the stipulations are still unknown. Who do you think will defend Liyue Harbor in the future, now that they've lost their deity? Uh, I'd have to say... The Liyue Qixing. So that's your answer? I see. Now for my final question. This world has people who gained visions, and those who did not. Which of the two do you think hold more importance in the eyes of the gods? I'd say none of them, to be honest. So, this is your answer then. I understand. It seems that you're different from her. What do you mean, her? <sighs> I'll take that 500 mora. And now I also understand your views on this world. As we agreed, you may now commission me. That said, I only take commissions related to the Abyss Order. Like you, I am currently on a journey. You intend to find your sibling, while I wish to oppose the Abyss. How did you know that too? Well, I have met some Abyss Mages in the past. Ugh. Those creatures that serve the Abyss are the fangs and claws by which the Order spreads chaos in this world. I have come to Mondstadt this time while on the trail of an Abyss Herald. An Abyss Herald? An even more twisted Abyssal being. One that commands the Abyss Mages. Come to think of it, since the Storm Terror incident ended, we have an- Oh, that's right! We've just been fighting against the Fatui and Liyue, who are human too! We haven't encountered the non-human Abyss Order at all! There's some reason behind that, I'm afraid. It's possible that they may have been under orders to redirect your path. Oh, that does sound pretty dangerous. <gasps> Maybe they're looking for a better time to ambush us or something. Uh, they won't defeat me. Uh-huh, we're super duper strong! We? That manner, it's just like hers. Well then, let's go see for ourselves, shall we? According to the leads I have on hand, the Abyss Order has re-infiltrated the Temple of the Falcon. Let's meet up at the temple. Perhaps your questions about the Abyss will be answered there. So, does this mean we get to try out Dainsleaf in the Temple of Falcon? <laughs> I'm so excited. Please let that be the case. Oh my goodness. This is probably the most exciting feeling I've ever had for the World Quest. Let's do this thing. This abandoned temple does bear some marks of the abyss. Did you guys hear that? What, what? Are those ducks? The Falcon of the West. Though it can soar in the wind, it ultimately does not but hover under the light of the gods. What are you talking about? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Let's head inside. Whoa, from this angle, you look so cool, like... A relative to Master Jean. Oh, hold up. Before we do that. I'm sorry, Dainsleaf. This comes first. Civilians need my help. So I shall healthy help. Body, healthy mind. Indeed, Ganyu. Indeed. That's a delivery. Alright. I'll go the distance and deliver the package. It's actually not that far. I could teleport, but it's not even that Let's far, so... Agenda. We're just gonna run there. <laughs> Dane's Leaf is like, um... Where are you going? 
making my way doing a side quest. A side quest because I'm getting distracted from a side quest. Born of ice and frost. All right, I'm here for the package delivery. I am the mailing service. Thank you for the reward and the payment slash tip. All right, let's get back to the actual side quest, which is actually going into the temple. That was a fast load. Okay, here we go. Is it this one? I think it's this one. The abyssal traces have led you back here. Will the abyssal herald rear its head and let you witness its transformation brought upon by the abyssal gospel? What? This is sounding like re-zero for some reason. Alright, let's do it. Recommended element is cryo. So this is a perfect party then. The scent of the abyss is getting stronger. It's not far now. Okay, for a second. I wonder what the Abyss Heralds look like. Do they look something like the Abyss Mages? Let's head further in first. If we do see that creature, that'll spare me the explanation either way. Uh, for a second, I thought he was sniffing my character. <laughs> what the heck is this guy doing? Well, <laughs> he is done. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for the treasure. Awesome. My talent for Ganyu, uh, the... It's pretty high, actually. I, I don't think I can sure... Oh, wait, here we go. I'm trying to max out the normal attack first, so it's level 9. I don't have the Mora, though, or the talent books just yet. It's so expensive. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Don't want to get too sidetracked. Gonna nail them from up here. Oh, what? A spread arrow. Ah. That was rude. You know, whatever. I'm, I'm struggling fighting from up there for some reason. Wait, was that really all of them? Oh look, treasure. Oh, more enemies. For Rex Lapis. For Rex Lapis indeed. This might have been overkill. Yeah, that was definitely overkill. I should have saved one of my ults. What the heck? Wolf hook? I'll take it. Okay. Open the door. Healthy body, healthy mind. Uh... I was like, how am I going to deal with this? <laughs> yeah, I play this quite differently from what you'd expect ever since I got Ganyu. I don't like do melee combos or anything. I stay in like aim shot mode almost entirely. It definitely changes the perspective of how you play the game. Oh goodness, two of them? Alright. It's such a small area too. Open up. 
spinning box of Adepti tricks. I'm not good with small areas. Probably because of my new playstyle. <laughs> Just a few abyss mages. Seems like that herald might have already left. Could you tell me more about the abyss order? The abyss. It is chaos, and it is also destruction. It is a morass of inconceivable madness that encroaches upon this world's very foundations. That is why even the Dragon of the East, a servant of a deity, was unable to resist its corrosive powers. And the creatures of the Abyss desire nothing less than the overthrow of a world ruled by the Archons. You seem to know a lot about the Abyss, Dane. Dane. Yeah, let's call him Dane from now on. <laughs> well, we do have some history. I suppose that's as far as chit-chat goes. We should head to Wolvendom. You know, I did see a lot of wolf hooks here, so that would explain a lot. Judging by the traces I'm following, their next appearance may be within the territory of that old wolf. You know, Dane, I like you. You're pretty smart. Perhaps we may find our Abyss Herald there. Or should I say, I like the person that wrote the plot for Dane. The narrative. Alright, so to the old wolf. Well, we're in Wolfendom now. Think Dane's waiting for us up ahead? We should meet up with him quick, in case the wolves decide they don't like him. <laughs> in case the wolves. <laughs> Look at this, the fire has like writing. That's interesting. I'm assuming that's the abyss. Lord of Wolvendom, great wolf king of the north, sharp of fang and keen of claw, and yet dwelling here only. You familiar with that wolf? No, nor does it know me. I only know these things because a previous traveling companion of mine once wanted to hear its story. All right, let's go see if that abyss herald has stopped by here. Are you standing here because of these strange bonfires, Dane? Indeed. See that? Floating above the flames? It's an abyssal spell. Knowing what I do of the Order's habits, they've probably left similar marks behind elsewhere. Let's have a look nearby. Can we get rid of the fire first? No. Oh my goodness. Oh god, I'm on fire. Ah, oh, my goodness. You know what would be somewhat funny? If you're, while you're on fire, like, when you touch grass and, like, the trees and stuff, if those also caught fire, <laughs> then it would just be a long line of fire. It would definitely help. Do you think that those monsters by the bonfire are under the Abyss Order's control? Looks kind of scary. Let's beat him up first! It would definitely help clear out areas for items. We're way behind schedule. Let's yeah. do it! All hail! For Rex Lapis! I can fix this! Go! Uh. Bring it on! Turn her up. Sacred name, Fortune Preserver. Access denied! <laughs> There's so much fire, yo. Boing, boing, boom! Ooh, that's that. Let's go check out that bonfire. Yeah, let's see what this bonfire has to say. 
looks like this bonfire's also got something to do with the abyss. Oh, hey, I was able to... Oh, nope, it came back. Oh, that's interesting. These bonfires are, like, eternally lit. Even when you take them out, they just come back. Does that mean, like, the fire... Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> I say all that, and then it just actually <laughs> stops lighting up. Man, I thought it was, like, an eternal fire, and that's what the spell on top of it was. Got my hopes up. I would have been an abyss mage if they had an eternal fire spell. On an unrelated note, the sealies, for those that do have him, do you guys leave them on or do you actually take them off like I do? Like, I feel like they're cute at first, but they kind of get annoying with their jumping around and stuff. The constant, like, pop sound they make. It's like, it's like Navi from Legend of Zelda, right? It gets kind of annoying after a while. That's my personal opinion, but how do you guys it feel about it? One of those bonfire spells. Looks like the abyss really has been around here. What fire? There is no fire. Yikes. Where did these monsters pop out from? Let's clear them out and quick! I got this, Paimon, don't worry. You just sit back like you always do. See, easy peasy. I already got my ult back and everything. That was such a fast clear. <laughs> I see Dane's leaf is just chilling by the fire. It's too bad though we didn't get to actually use him. Maybe we still can. Maybe there's still a chance we get to try out his kit. Have you finished searching? Indeed. We found lots of signs of Abyss Order. I searched around these parts and found some signs myself. But they were left behind by Abyss Mages. And there was no deeper Abyssal power to them. It seems that even an Abyss Herald would not wish to make trouble with the Wolf King of the North. We should leave as well. If there's anything praiseworthy about that old wolf, it's his territorial nature. But now we're out of leads! Are we going to have to give up? No. There is one more place we can go. Let's get a move on then. I'll wait for you at Storm Terror's lair. Storm Terror? We really going to Storm Terror? Alright. I've heard about what happened to you during Mondstadt's crisis. When you came, this place was known as Storm Terror's Lair. Indeed. But I suppose that this place is more Lair than Storm Terror at this point. In fact, if my memory serves, this ruin has had largely nothing to do with that dragon for a long time. The first time I laid eyes upon the ruins of Old Mondstadt, the Dragon of the East had yet to fall, much less come to nest in this place. Huh? But Baima remembers that Devalin first got in trouble hundreds of years ago. Don't think too much about it. Do you remember the light actuators that once sealed this ruin? Nope. No, wait. Yep, now I do. It's those puzzles that we had to do in the very beginning in order to unlock the middle tower. If the Abyss Order is interested in this location, then they will not neglect those mechanisms. Let's go see what the situation is at those light actuators. Alright. 400 meters. Yeah, let's just, uh, teleport. <laughs> I see Abyssal writing. That means there's the Abyss Mage. Healthy body, health. Look! There are lots of monsters gathered over there. Yeah, we're gonna take them down. Or should we just let them keep dancing? No, we're gonna take them down. Should we go for the Abyss Mage first? I think we should. It's fire. I need to use fire on it. Boing, boing, boing. Them out. 
Although I'm pretty sure Cryo works against it too. Nailed it. Oh, there's more. This is long overdue. Rise. Opening box of the Death Eye Tricks. Come on, here we go. Rock on. You know, is there a way to turn off the um the ultimate zoom ins? They get kinda annoying sometimes. They're not fun to watch all the time, to be honest. They're cool at first, but then afterwards it's like, okay, let me just get back into the action, or at least let me see what's going on around me. No touching. Yeah, no touching. It is quite a shame. Wow, I read that way too early. <laughs> I wouldn't call not having to gaze upon such a creature a shame, exactly. Still, I do believe that you will come across one eventually. N no, you're right. If it's a really powerful monster, it would be best to go around it. <sighs> How good it would be if all perils one encounters in their journeys could simply be solved by going around them. Speaking from experience, are we? Once upon a time, yes. I simply have experience from adventuring together with that traveling companion. Uh, you know, Dean, you keep talking about that person this and that person that? Yeah, that's true, but we don't really know anything. Where are they now, anyway? She... <sighs> no longer travels. I'm afraid that traveling can be too exhausting at times. Is this travel companion you're talking about, Jean? The one that stays at her desk all the time now? Is that perhaps her? Oh, is that how it is? Well, why are you traveling alone then? I still have some things left unfinished. Once they are done, I too will return home to rest. I really feel like they're related. <sighs> yep! And it's good to have a home to come back to, isn't it? We camp out a lot when we travel. Hey, once you find your sibling, we should find a place to stay too, shouldn't we? Mm, Mondstadt's fisherman's toast is pretty tasty. But Liyue's Wanmin restaurant is great too. Uh, either way, we should settle down in a place where there's good food. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, I think. Home. Well, it won't be too late to think about where you stay once your journey reaches its end. While you're still traveling, you should... I sense something familiar on that cliff. Huh? What's familiar? I felt it for a moment the previous time we came here, too. A familiar feeling, you say? It could be someone you know well. Or perhaps a monster. Or maybe both. Could it be the Abyss? Whichever it is, we should see it for ourselves, and thus see clearly. We can reach the top of that cliff from over there. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, Dean moves really fast, doesn't he? Let's use that wind current nearby to catch up! Yeah, he's already up there. Aren't we supposed to be the main character? We should have plot armor. Where's our plot armor? Almost there. Okay, here we go. Oh look! We're in guard footprints. And then, an area we can't get to. It's over there.
Can you still sense that familiar feeling that you spoke of earlier? It's nearby. But it doesn't feel like there's anything around here. No monsters, no people, nothing. Indeed. There doesn't seem to be anything strange about this place. It doesn't look any different from the last time I was here. You've been here before. My traveling companion brought me here on our previous journey. Hmm. So, Dane, what about you? What's your favorite place? Me? I no longer remember. I merely followed that person around on that journey. That's all there was to it. Huh? A ruined guard's footprint. A ruined guard was wandering around here? Yeah, indeed. A ruined guard. No peace to be found. Even for a single dandelion. Even for a single dandelion? So, you really are Jean's brother then? Flashback. What's gotten into you? You were just spacing out. This dandelion reminds me of. Huh? You mean your sister? But how could that be? You only touched that dandelion for a second. Yes, the moment I touched it. Hmm. Perhaps that dandelion bears some sort of scent that only you recognize. As for why, has it perhaps experienced something related to you? Uh, you're saying some real confusing stuff. Paimon doesn't get it at all. Regardless, I have to get to the bottom of the- Do not rush. Vexation and anxiety are the enemy of rational thought. Your journey has only just begun, has it not? At least you now know that she is still on this world. At this time, the most important thing is the journey to find her itself. And I will find her. Yes. And this is something you must keep in mind as the meaning behind your journey. May you find your kin at the end of that journey. Well then, let us part ways here for now. Huh? You're leaving? Already? Only for now. Don't worry. We will meet again. But we didn't get to see your playstyle. After all, I did take 500 Mora and those three answers you gave me. Oh, I wanted to know how you played. Well, at least we knew a bit more now from the story. That's so interesting. I wasn't expecting something like that so early, like, wow, that's something for like, way later. Are they going to continuously give us like, small teasers and whatnot towards so the, nice to towards this area, so we can finally meet them, meet our counterpart our sibling our kin that's gonna be super fun I'd love to definitely go over there somewhere over there so this dandelion I guess that's the one she touched 